Hello everyone, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little haul or share for you if you're interested in getting beautiful antique Victorian retro type stickers for your journals and your paper crafting. A lot of times the stickers that we collect, it can be hard to find a style we're looking for, especially if we go with more of the 1800s feel and the vintage and all of that. Um, a lot of times stickers are really cutesy and even though we like it, it can be hard to find exactly what we're looking for. So I have two resources that I want to share with you. I'm going to start off with Sticky, but then I have a book flip through. I'm going to sticker book flip through for later on. Sticky um, sent me these stickers to share with you. They're a great little group. I love what they do where you can either sign up monthly to get their little sticker pack. And this is exactly how it came to me in this little envelope. And here is all their information. It's Sticky Two Eyes Club, so stickyclub.com, and you can find them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. This is the retro pack, but they have other different themes as well, depending upon what you like. So you can do like a reoccurring payment, or you can just purchase a specific pack, and then they also have like a clearance or discount section where you can get some of the overstock stuff a little bit cheaper. But this is the retro pack. I believe they also have a sticker book that is for sale, but you can't, so you can add these into that if you wish, but I love how it all stays together. I left it exactly as it came. I haven't actually looked through it yet because I wanted to share it with you. So in this little pocket, it's like a little keyhole clip. Isn't that cute? I mean, I've seen key clips, but not keyhole clips. And then there is a little package full of these little, I don't know if they're stickers or just die cuts. Look at this. They're like frames and key. Wow, there's a lot of them. Look at how, yeah, they're stickers. Take that backing off, it looks like. Well, and you can see there's a couple left in there. Look at how many. Aren't they beautiful? I mean, these are just exactly what we love. They're so cute. Look at the keys. Look at the keys. Oh, so I know a lot of us are stuck home right now and we're shopping online and trying to use that time to come up with ideas for crafting. I think this might just be a really, really fun way to add some jazz to your journals. There's so much here. Wow. I was not expecting this quantity of adorableness. I knew you'd get some things, but wow. I mean, that's a lot. That is a lot. And you get to keep it. You can keep it in that little section. I guess that's why it has a flap so that you can take it out of the packaging and you can slip it right in here. And that pat, uh, little flap will keep it all together. I love how you can keep the collections together like this. So as you collect their collections, then you can keep them together and you know it all works. So I guess I should have pulled this out first. I didn't realize that it told about what we're getting in this pack. So let's take a sec and look at that. So this is called All That Glitters. Use one theme sticker at the bottom right corner and use the other one however you wish. Upgrade your sticky storage to create a collection by inserting into any A5-6 hole binder. Okay, so these are corner stickers. So this collection is called All That Glitters. And so you can put this right there, there so you remember. And then you have another one. Um, I'm going to just put it on the other side. That way, no matter what way I am looking at it, I know what the collection is called. That is really cool. So then you get another little section you can put things. In here, these are little sticky notes and they're little jewels. Look at how cute. I'm thinking about my kit multifaceted that has all these gems and jewels. They're just so cute. So you have that and then you can flip it over and then pull out the bigger pieces. These, um, oh, postcards. Each woman is a queen. So we have a vintage postcards here. 
I like how you get more than just stickers. Look at these sticker sheets. Look at all of those. I rarely find stickers like this. This is exactly what I'm looking for when I am doing journals. And I, I really, I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Can you find sticker sheets like these easily? I can't. They're beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. Look at how pretty all those details are. I'm, I am extreme. Look at these coins and the gold foiling on them extremely impressed and I think you guys might want to head over these ones are even numbered so you could use them in a planner if you wanted to these crowns so if even if you're into planning these would work great for you like for a monthly spread or something like that but I like how you can sign up to get one every month or if you just want to buy one one time and then a few months later buy another one you can I just think that's so awesome. So that is a wonderful sticky resource. So thank you, Sticky, for sending this to me so I could show everybody. I am blown away with how amazing this is. And I can't wait to use those in my journals. So part two of this video, or the, the second part starting right now, is I heard about this sticker book. Um, someone on some group posted it on Facebook. And I looked it up on Amazon and I purchased it and it came look at how thick that is. Here's my hand. And I thought I would do a complete flip through of it because people who are posting about this aren't showing all of the pages. Obviously, it's hard to take a picture of every page. There's over a thousand stickers and it sits so beautifully. So I have this behind my craft work desk and I can grab and use. I haven't used anything from it yet, but I think it would make a wonderful junk journal cover once you've used all the um, stickers as well. And I have a feeling this is going to be something that I reorder, meaning when I get to the end of it, I'll order it again. So I'm going to put an Amazon link in the description box below, as well as the link to Sticky, of course, um, so that you can click on it and order this directly. So you have like a marbled end paper. Look at how pretty that is. So as a junk journal maker, I'm thinking about how I can use this paper in a journal, right? These are all adhesive. Can you see the little lines cut around all of the stickers? So you can pull them off. Isn't that beautiful? So you just easily peel it off. And what's really nice, these feel like a matte paper finish. They're not glossy, they're not clear, they're not, it's like a paper finish, which is a unique and neat addition. And look at what's on the back of the sticker pages. So even after you take all of these off, you have this sticky, not sticky, but like it's kind of glossy on this side. And then you have these beautiful pages and I'm sure that we could use that some way in a journal. You know, what you could even do is once you used that, all of these, you could pull the rest of the paper off leave it in the book and then just use it to put random stickers in. Like if you only have one or two left on a sheet, that might be worth trying. Look at all these, the cherries, the butterflies, the flowers. So many stickers. The price was really good too. And I think it does fluctuate a little bit. So I don't know what it will be. I think I paid after taxes and all of that. It was like around $17, but this is a lot of stickers for $17. And some of the images I recognize and like this is even, this is actually not a sticker. That's just part of the page. Oh, it is a sticker. It is a sticker. I've actually used this image in one of my kits because it's public domain. These are all stickers. Like every single picture is a sticker. I'm just totally blown away. I really hope that they come out with different themed sticker books like this. I don't know if they would or not, but it's $24.99. So me getting it for $17 was a good deal. Look at, different, look at how big some of these stickers are. I mean, you don't find stickers that big normally. It would be perfect for layering. There's funny ones, sweet ones different moods, different themes. Look at that lovely fox. So amazing. So I hope that you enjoy seeing the pages on this.
And it's nice to have it all in a book instead of loose sticker sheets too. So I thought that was fun. Now, what is this? Is this a whole, oh wow. There's actually stickers cut out of this. Look, <laughs> that's really neat and unique. Got some creepy ones like Halloween. These are pretty much, yeah, like public domain images, but I love how they're ready for us to stick right onto a page. This is perfect for travel too, if you don't wanna get all sticky and glue everywhere, like in the car, or if you're in a hospital or, um, you know, waiting somewhere, you could bring this along with your journal. And instead of having to fussy cut and use a glue stick, you can just peel them off and stick them on. So I thought that was, some of these are huge. <laughs> wow. I know there's a lot of pages, but I figured that some of you would want to see every page and then some of you will just stop the video and that's fine too. Look at how pretty. I guess parts of these are stickers. Yep, that's really crazy. There's a whole butterfly and moth spread. Really nice. Super fun. So check out these websites, sticky.com and then this listing at Amazon so that you'll be stuck for life or <laughs> have enough stickers for life. Obviously, these are amazing. You have all these alphabet ones here too, all the way to Z. So I hope you just enjoyed this short little video. I'm loving the stickers I've added to my collection. I'll see all of you next time around.